Welcome back friends, in this video I am going to tell you, to describe you how you how use numeric entries, numeric text and uh, symbols, levels and uh, and tanks, how you uh, numeric set float or integer text in your Windows of Scala. First of all you go to your main screen and select go to symbols and here you select symbols and add numeric input so what numeric input you want to select first of all i select uh, that numeric input and there yes i input it and select another how i select i select a second i select a second there now i label it you can see i put the text uh, there so I put it in put in feature or any other things uh, you want to input. So first of all it is a text. Now I go to select a symbol and select tank. So first of all I should to select tanks for uh, integer I would like to put that tank and for float I choose change tank so I use that tank so you can see here so first of all I am going to create a tag so I go to project global project tags and create an insert a tag so uh, first of all I am going to input integer and it's, it is also integer so first of all we use a tag so integer so second tag we are going to select it output integer integer and that is that and uh, float so input float so I am going to click real and output float so I am going to select output float and its name is here so these are selected so i'm going to communications and drivers and avke main driver sheet so first of all i select to real so you can see first of all i go to integer so i select integer output integer then i select others input float and another next output float so you will know in your projects your input float is n70 output in out input integer is n70 output n71 input float n78 f8 and output is f8 column 1 so first of all we are going to create you can see n7 column 0 and i go to set n7 column 1 so f Eight four zero and so next F eight four four zero and which is why F eight column one. So my tag is created. I go to save it, cancel it. Yes, I want to save. I go to main screen and select the level. I want decimal numbers. No, I don't need a decimal number. Teacher input integer and I change the tag you can see decimal first of all I go to tag name so input integer is my tag name I go to enter a decimal so zero decimals and values so level name is I go to select input integer invalid name why it is invalid don't know Spectacle. and you can see it is now selected now I link symbol you can see it is linked now I cancel it now I select that and decimal always used to be value I go to select the level so first of all I go to react input and I value it you can see I did not select it, so I am going to it, uh, label it, and 
for deal by selected and cancel all proteins that for integer 0 to 100 and analog value we going to select integer output integer because it matters more on the real and now I'm going to select another you can see I'm going to select it and output flow and so now I again select another you can see an another symbol for our float entry so first of all I'm going to meters you can see there is our meters so and now in that time I'm going to select the meters wait in time text commands and here I'm going to select the text I so here are some inputs input text so first of all I here is my output so I'm going to select it the decimal name is already output float and though that's it I don't need to change the name so here is my screen is ready I'm going to save it and I'm going to run it so I'll go to enter an American input you can see what value I input so I'm going to enter you can see it's not working why it's not working because my PLC is not connected so first of all I am going to connect it how I connect it so you can go to visual configuration and you can see that we are going to com port 1 and 2 first of all I select only my com port so what is my com port so I am going to settings data highway com port 1 and CRC here it is 1 and now you can see I come for one is now I'm going to there and check my that communication from there and now I'm going to that and settings you can see comfort 297 and I give it in one see also check legacy and okay now I'm going to add the to name and now it is going to connect it or not and wait you can see why it is not I worry it is not working so I am going to change it from there now I change it from there and as you can see I I change from there to first of all I am going to integer and 50 so you can see 50 is converted so I will go to project and you can see here is my 50 now I am going to Another, you can see where I'm going to there. I'm going to my uh, I'm read I read the 50. So we enter it 50 here. So we are going to cancel it and you can see our tank is half and value is 50. It is not working, so first of all we going to there, cancel it. I delete these numeric labels and now from the bottom variables now I go to enter a text box so I enter a text box and add I, I tag add expression so input float counts maximum and minimum value I left that in there now so where I put the decimal so I am going to need to use the decimal I am just enter it, I am going to another select text box, so I will put it there and I named it, you can see integer, input integer and I will cancel it now I save it and another I want it so I am going to name, now I enter it so you can see, I am going to enter 90 now you see our tank is 90 and I am going to enter it, so I am going to 90.0 uh, you can see our tank is 90 so that's how you can enter numeric entries I am going to create new numeric entries which are used in symbols to try it then I tell you how you use it so first of all thank you for watching this video and please subscribe and like my channel and click the bell icon below and thank you for very much for watching my video